Oh, hi, guys. <laughs> oh, hello. What's how's, up? How's it going? We're back. Yeah. Uh, first podcast of 2021. Excited uh, to be back here uh, with Kim and Chuck for sure, and everyone listening and watching. Um, we've had been on a little vacation, I guess. Yeah. You could call yeah. it that. A little. Uh, yeah. a, a, a mission, I guess. <laughs> been away. You've been on a mission. A mission to win races. Which you that's why we have been doing it. <laughs> that's why we haven't been doing the podcast. Uh yeah. Um really until we you know, I won my first race of the year and then we did it. Oh, it yeah. should be noted. Everybody's gonna think we did the podcast because you won the race. We had this scheduled before. Yeah. So I actually think it was the momentum leading up to the first episode that really just pushed you to yeah. accomplish the win. It's got me in a good mood. At Atlanta. Yeah. yeah. And uh so I think we should yeah, we scheduled this like weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it just happened to play out, which was which was uh, just ironic. Very serendipitous. So, but it's nice to be back. So all the fans that have been beating down the door. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of questions. We appreciate it, first of all. A lot of questions about when it's coming back. Mm-hmm. All Is that it stuff. coming back? Yeah, yeah, and we were just waiting. We were making. We were building the suspense. You yeah. Know, it's like a TV show or a movie that has a release date, and then it just keeps getting pushed back. Yeah. yeah. This and is what we're like It's right like the, we, we are the... MCU of NASCAR. That's right. You know, we yeah. like to, we don't like to give away secrets. Mm-hmm. We like to like no spoilers. We don't want to kind of release what the full game plan is. Yeah. So just kind of keep everybody guessing and creating buzz on the internet and boom. Well, boom. I will say if you, if anyone goes back to Chuck's Twitter from, <laughs> it would have been Tuesday night. Yeah. Uh, he, he, what did you, it's there. You put just, a, a uh, number of tweets out and the first word of each tweet was, Glass case is returning or coming New back? New glass something? case coming soon. Yeah. Ah. The first word yeah. of each of my five tweets from Tuesday night. How yeah. very National Treasure of you. Uh, I was yeah. trying to... Nick Cage. And I threw out a little teaser. Yeah. I did a Whitney Houston gif from the music video, So Emotional, because this is glass case of emotion. Because I wanted to be extremely subtle that nobody would probably even get it. When yeah. I, I was halfway waiting for the Dale Jr. download to come out and mm-hmm. then stacking pennies... Uh, with Corey LaJoy, which you're on as well. And right. I think on at least on Stacking Pennies, I know you teased that we were doing this. I did tease it. So the people who watched Stacking Pennies, which like, so two of them saw. <laughs> <laughs> two, so pe- we're two, pe- two people. We're coming we're building back. an audience. Two you know? people. <laughs> so two people who watched Stacking Pennies knew we were coming back. So uh, we're just trying to help that podcast out a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I did Dale Jr. download yesterday with Dad. Uh, so that was cool. We wanted to get Dad on his show. Dave. Yeah, with Dave and see what Dad was up to. So go watch Dale Jr. Download. Uh, you see what my dad's been up to. But, you know, dad and Dale are kind of like the same person. I feel like they have the same personalities and, uh, you know, pretty reserved people, which Dale, I think, has gotten a little bit more unreserved. How old's your lately. dad? That's a terrible question. Well, I'm just uh, saying, I think he's, he's, know. he's 58. But are, are, okay. So they're close to the same generation. That Like, they race together in Cup. So, I mean, they're in the same yeah, sort a little of. Bit. Yeah. So, not many people notice this, know this, but Dale Jr., Kenseth and my dad were all rookies in the Bush series. Uh, That's the same crazy. Year. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Dad was part of that rookie class. So. I didn't, I don't know that I realized that. Mm-mm. It's also funny. I was watching in the blink of an eye or blink. What, what's the Michael Waltrip? Blink of an eye. Blink yeah, of an eye. I don't know eye. if it was in blink of an eye. I was rewatching it the other day and I thought it was funny. I didn't pick on it the first time I saw it when it originally came out where Dale's like, yeah, I didn't really get the friendship between my dad and Michael Waltrip because they're so far apart age-wise. Meanwhile, you and Dale are probably equidistant in age in terms of yeah. difference that they were. It was just funny. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. I, I laughed because I was like, wait a second. You, you and Blaney are friends yeah. just like that. And Dale's probably what? the same Dale's age Dale's in mid-40s. Difference. Yeah. I'm in my mid-20s. So, yeah, it's kind of... <laughs> Anyway. I'm by late twenties now, but yeah, yeah we're we're yeah, twenty years apart, something yeah. like that. But heck, heck, that's the first time I saw I've seen Dale in in months. Uh, yeah, he doesn't invite me over anymore. So <laughs> no. I mean, he's got a little bit more he's responsibility got, yeah. now. He's got a couple kids, so kids in the COVID times, you don't want to be that's around. Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah. yeah, especially newborns. I mean, how old's or she Nicole? No, she, it's Nicole, right? Did they, have they had the second? Yeah. Yes, she's yeah. like months old. Dude, I, look, here's the thing. I don't even know what day or year that's it fair. is right now. That's fair. Yeah. And like everything that has happened is like, well, she could be five by now. Like that's how <laughs> long it's felt. Right. It does feel like 
like we did a last episode last year for the 2020 season on your back porch. That feels like it was the beginning of tw- like that feels like a year yeah. ago. It does feel long ago. How is the back porch, by the way? It is nice. So uh, Christmas, I moved the grill up onto the porch. It's a big move. Because it rained. <sighs> yeah. It was raining, and I was smoking um, a turkey, I think, for Christmas. Nice. And it's just stayed up there, so it's been okay. a lot. It's been nice. No, it's good. go out there, walk out. It's covered. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. You got it stained yet? Not yet. Not yet. I, we're coming up on, well, not quite a year. Getting, getting dry. About a year is yeah. when... And I mean, the rainy season hadn't helped, but about a year yeah. you get it, then power wash it, and then. Have you had any ladies nice. come check out your big deck? Uh, yeah, there have been a couple. <laughs> okay. You know. Well, we discussed it. That's why I yeah. asked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, was yeah, a. Yeah, yeah. Didn't um, know if anyone has experienced the big deck or not, or if it's just been talked about and rumored about you. Or if Chuck's big just deck. enjoyed his own big deck there right. has, <laughs> himself. There has yeah. been a big deck experience. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> I mean, not. <laughs> Not a actual, like, not on the big deck. Like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> there's not been that type of experience on the, you know, I'm just going to stop talking. Yeah. It's okay. Just gonna, no. We're just yeah. glad you're enjoying I'm the turning deck. as red as my shirt It's in the good chair that, right you know, now. more people have seen your big deck. And yes. I know you yeah. worked hard on that and, you know, you called a lot of people to help you out on getting a big deck right. and I'm happy it worked out. Mm-hmm. A lot of energy went into that deck. Yeah, yeah. Well, good. 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 I'm happy. Mm-hmm. I'm Fine. happy. So, um, and, and it's starting to warm up again. So the finally. deck is getting oh, thank back. goodness into more usage right well that's good yeah that's good speaking of newborns uh my older sister had her second kid congrats emma yeah. thank you a few weeks ago his name's Bodie, and uh very cool name yeah he was a big kid a chunker he was like nine pounds ten ounces that's a big old baby large baby out of a small woman yes uh so that was i saw him a couple weeks ago and he was like a week old and he was like you know babies when they're a week old yeah don't know what's going on but he was cool he was how's nice. louis adjusting he likes Bodie so far. So Louis, he's two now. He's over two. He turned okay. two in January. Um, That's a good distance so, apart. Yeah, I think so. Uh, but he gets along with Bodie well. Uh, he's not gotten too jealous yet, which is good. Um, so we'll see how that goes. A lot of people tell me like he will get jealous. Yeah. As as like time passes and, and Bodie gets more attention, more and more. Yeah. But we'll see. He likes him though. So it was nice to go up there. I think there's there's like a weird sort of there's the jealousy balance, and then it comes back down to where they become friends. Like if they hit a certain age, best it, buds. Uh, yeah. But there's still I mean there's always that sibling sibling rivalry. Yeah, I think when they can start playing together, like yeah. when Bodie gets to be two, mm-hmm. and and Louis's four, like they'll really be able to start playing because yeah. because Louis now at two years old he's playing like crazy, he can run around, yeah. and play and stuff like that. And I think when they get to be that age I think he'll be good when they can entertain themselves I mean you you still I think you kind of have to watch them a little bit because yeah. I oh, know my niece trouble. will like she's younger than my nephew but she will throw bows and like you know she is she's, she's asserting her dominance at an early age she's like no That's this good. is my house yeah and good for her you know, so we'll yeah. see how that plays out but they, yeah. they do entertain each other yeah yeah I think that's that's good you, you want to get there not you but because you don't have kids. No, I don't. Yeah, yeah. No. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> it's like, no, no, no. No, no kids. Uh, yeah, Sturgill's your only kid. I have I have a, a dog child. Yes. That's enough for me. So, for the moment. But, no, it's been good. They're they're doing well. So, um, Kim, is, we talked about Chuck's big deck. Oh, yeah. We talked about my new nephew. What's uh-huh. been going on with you? Yeah. How's Just Kim? the same old stuff. Good. Just being a dog mom. Let's say Archie, Archie right, It's basically the only thing I ever post about is my dog. Yeah. Yeah, but he's pretty popular, I got to say. Uh, wants to play ball all day long. All day long. Uh, he's a good boy, though. <laughs> all day long. Yeah. All, all day long. See, Archer and Sturgill, I think, are complete opposites. Sturgill doesn't, he could care less about a ball. Archer's very much and like the retriever sleeps. in him is, he will bring you a ball yeah. all day long. So, please throw this. Please, please, mom. Other than that, not much else been happening i feel like we're slowly getting back into mm-hmm. somewhat normal circumstances so just working and dog momming and there was something i was gonna oh oh yeah with the dog mom thing are you going to be one of those dog moms that creates their own instagram page for the dog no 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 no. that's not really my style i've had a couple people suggest that no offense i know uh my younger sister did your younger sister dog. i just realized I- that too the other day i was like wait that dog looks familiar. I was like, oh, this is Aaron's dog. Yeah, I have the same I'm, thought you do. I think it's, it's, it's dumb. I have a hard enough time keeping track of my own social media. Right. Having to do a dog social media separately. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
and I feel like people want to see Archie more than they want to see me, so I'll just put him on my Instagram. That's what I'm saying. Like, just put your yeah. dog yeah. on your Instagram yeah. page. Like, he doesn't need, he or she doesn't need a separate one. Yeah. Like, I, I yeah. also don't want the bitches sliding into his DMs, so. It's fair. It's fair. <laughs> I got to monitor everything that happens. Uh, but he's fixed, happened. so he's fixed, He is, right? yes. yes. He I is mean, fixed. If yeah. they slide in, then, I mean, yeah. just slide out, no problem. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> slide in, slide no, out. No problem. I wonder how, I bet there's like a dog tinder out there. Like Maybe. Like, for, like a dog tinder that owners run. This is a run. great that's idea. Like, that's like, hey, let's have our dogs meet up. And, and then we meet. Date. And then we meet. So That's think, a great idea for yeah. a dating app mm-hmm. is base it around your pets. I bet there'll be something out there. I mean, I, I have been like liking photos of dogs on dating apps. When are you going to gonna get a dog? Well, I just, I've, I've thought about that and this all plays into it like because they're good icebreakers, right? Like mm-hmm. you take a dog. Yeah. And like, oh, I mean, hey, don't get a dog, dog just as an icebreaker. No. no, no. <laughs> just use your dog. <laughs> Chuck's like, I'm going to dog. To yeah. pick up chicks. Here we go. And back in your cage right now. <laughs> <laughs> you did your job, but go to your cage. Um, I mean, yeah, I've, I've thought about it, but mm-hmm. I've been traveling a little bit again. Yeah. So that was always my excuse is like, well, I'm traveling. I know that's not a great excuse because you two travel and you yeah. two both have dogs. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, it's just. I mean, there's challenges to it for sure. Yeah. You know, like my younger sister got one. And she wanted me to get her one for Christmas, a dog. And I was like, that's not a decision what? I should make. That's She asked you for that? For yeah. I feel like that's a very personal thing. That's what I told thing her. I, was like, I wouldn't want somebody picking out a yeah. dog for me. I'm not the person to give you a dog. I said, if you want a dog, you go buy yourself a dog. Yeah. Or have your significant other, Willie B, get you a dog. Yeah. Like, that's not my part. And she got got Frankie is his name. Got him in Daytona and brought him back. So, so she got her own dog. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but... Yeah, she wanted me to buy it for it. I'm like, that's not my <laughs> position to buy you. A dog. Like, what if I got you a pet that you didn't want? Like, oh, yeah, here's a Here, parakeet. Or here's a Great Dane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you're you're 90 pounds. Here's a 120-pound Great Dane. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah, that's a – you have to pick a dog that suits you. Yeah. Like, you can't just willy-nilly. Uh-huh. So. She got a sheepoo? Uh, sh- yeah. I, uh, a I, sh- 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 I saw uh, – A shih tzu poodle. Okay. Sheep poo. I don't know. It's tiny. So it'll a stay small. Mm-hmm. I, cause I couldn't figure out what it was exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what it was either. It just, to me, it looked just like a tiny dog. Just I'm like, like oh, a little a small dog. puntable dog. I don't know what the hell this is. <laughs> <laughs> I like big dogs. I don't have anything against small dogs, but I'm, I like the big dogs. I know. I mean, I've, I think I've said this before on the show. I know what dog I'm going to get. I'm going to get a plot hound. Um, mm-hmm. It's North Carolina State dog. Oh, yeah. It's, you have mentioned yeah, this. Yeah. Um, and I've been look. I have been looking. I've been uh, perusing. The trouble is, most of the times, like the adoption sites or like the rescue ones, it's never like just a plot. It's a mix, like a and, plot and, and a pit. And the thing is, the mix is always a pit with the yeah. plot because of the brindle. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you're like, that's got some pit in it. And I know pit bulls, like dogs, are as good as their owner. Like, yeah, it's not the yeah. dog's fault. It's not the breed's fault. But I don't like I. I, like I just the don't look, love, they look too I don't, Yeah, I'm not a huge yeah. fan of the look of pits. I have nothing yeah. against pits. I don't look like a pit. I'm I don't soft, know, though. So. You know, yeah, I, I agree with that. Like, yeah, pets are, you know, a reflection of their owners yeah. and stuff like that. But there's got to be some genetic thing in there. Like, I could adopt a lion as a cub and raise it. <laughs> that thing's probably still, still going to eat me. But that's like, Even if I'm the nicest ever to it. Oh, I thought you were going to say then the lion would look like you. No, so, no. Like, it'd be the hair. Probably yeah. eat me. Yeah, like fair, just fair. a genetic yeah. trait in them, and Pitbull might have that. I don't know what their, you know, their origins are of what they were, you know. What I could they see, used to be. yeah, I could see but. it was an Irish Wolfhound. I love those. I don't know okay. if you know what they look like, but for yeah, some the, reason, the, I the, could, the wiry, uh, yeah, they yeah, got like yeah. mustache-looking yeah. facial hair, and no, yeah, I know that. I think they're big. They're big dogs. I want to yeah. say Sturgill Simpson has one, an Irish Wolfhound. Know. Yeah, I want to say that. I, I, I think I I'd could be wrong. See. Yeah. I might have seen it on an Instagram post, but he deletes those like every week. Yeah. Like Keeps things mystery, yeah. mysterious. Yeah. Speaking of Sturgis Simpson, did you see Post Malone's cover? I did. Of, I didn't. Uh, was you Can Have the Crown, right? Yeah. Pretty good. I know. Like I was very impressed. Post I Malone see this. did an acoustic cover of You Can Have the Crown, and it was really good. Like, huh. I was very impressed. Okay. Yeah. Somebody said, hey, Look Post Malone covered Sturgis. I was like, oh, no. I was having a bad day already. Yeah. I don't want this to get worse. <laughs> and it made it better. When yeah. I watched it, I was like, oh, this is good. He yeah. did a really good job. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, all right. That's You're selling me on it. Posty Melon, I see you, dog. Like, <laughs> Post Malone. So, yeah, that Post. was good. Um, since it's been a minute since we've last met, what... Uh, oh. oh. Oh, my gosh. That, that is... It's like Chuck's never been on a show is. before. <laughs> uh, 
Chuck. Dead weight over here. I'm the dead weight. I did set my alarm, though, so if my phone goes off, it's purposeful. Mine was uh, somebody calling me about my car's extended warranty. I get those. Yeah. Uh, Oh, Ten times a week. uh, Almost once a day. Yeah. Yeah. I don't understand. Yeah, I... I just say that, or do you, or we want to buy your house? Right. I don't get the house ones. Really? I and so that one. I, a lot of times they'll have my number because of my parents. Because I guess I originally got my phone like way back in the day under their plan. So for some reason their names are on it. So I always know if it's a Florida number that they're usually calling to buy my house. And I, and I say I was like, if you can give me the correct address, I will listen to your pitch. And it's always my like childhood address. I'm like, mm. nope, sorry, you lost. Yeah. I failed. Because I think that my computer is connected to the Bluetooth of the audio board. So I could have answered on my computer. And we would have and heard we what could, it was. Well, and we could have, uh, if it wasn't the recording, if it was an actual person, we could have had some fun oh. with it. Yeah. You know. Oh, damn. Dang I know. it. I've, I've, it's rarely a person yeah. for me. It's always a recording. I always, even if it is a person, I tell them to F you. Yeah. I say F you. I don't say F. Hello. Say the real word. You. <laughs> yeah. Like, go away. We mm. are trying to reach you about your car's yeah. extended warranty. I don't know mm. what we can do to figure that out. Because someone <laughs> needs to make stop. an app. Like, we should, you know, we, we, well, our scientists are focused on vaccines right now, so we can't divert them from vaccines. But, yeah, like, but there's, there's smart people. Once we're done with the pandemic, I feel like smart I, people I focus need like on that. I like a footstool. What the, I'm too short for these chairs. What were you, what were you <laughs> saying before your phone? Well, I was going to ask you <laughs> I about. Really, these chairs are too deep for my height. So this is, like, very awkward. I'm like, how do I sit so it's yeah. not completely uncomfortable? That's um, better. What are your thoughts on WandaVision, on Mandalorian? Yeah. On yeah. uh, Winter Soldier and Fa- Falcon and Winter Soldier, like the first episode. What do you? What's your take? Because I, I over Christmas went back and watched the entire Marvel universe, universe? Yeah. in order. Yeah. Oh. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> like chronological order. Yes. Like movie movie order. Movie like order. Movie, Not like year they came out. Universe like order. order. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, so went there and like so when Wandavision came out, like everything, I was. Yeah, full. I had I'd, I'd seen them all before, but it was just rewatching them and getting ready for that. Yeah, stuff. I liked I liked WandaVision. I watched, uh, I binge watched them. Like I saw the first four, and then I waited until like uh, all but the final episode came out, and I watched like five of them uh, all in a row. I thought it was great. Yeah. I thought it was really cool. Um, I love Elizabeth Olsen. Oh, yes. I was about to say that. I was so, waiting for um, that. Even made it better. In. Uh, but, but yeah, I thought it was great. It bridged a lot of gaps. There was some plot stuff. You're like, oh, yeah. all right. And then it leads into some more stuff. I have not watched Falcon and the Winter Soldier yet. You waiting to? I'm gonna wait till more yeah. episodes come out because I kind of like Ben's watching them because I don't like waiting a week. Yeah. Like, because they're just coming out with one episode a week, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're not like dumping them. Hmm. I've been enjoying so. the appointment viewing though. During like it gives me something to look forward to on Friday. Oh, yeah. so it comes out, it's released yeah, on, almost it's released like on episodic television yeah. used to be. So like that week that... I kind of wish everything was like that still. You get everything now and like throughout like being at home, doing all that stuff, yeah. like it's nice to And then to at the end something. you can, like if you do, if you yeah. do want to binge, you got to wait until they all come out and then yeah. you can do that. Yeah. Either way, you're waiting. Right. Um, but I don't know. I had a revelation over the break. Not really a revelation. <laughs> I mean, this is what they've been doing for a while, but it's just the way that they have been telling the stories... They're mm-hmm. using all these different mediums to tell it, and it's. I've become more of a Marvel convert than I was before. Mm. Like even like when we started doing this show, I was like, oh yeah, Marvel movies, they're good. And you're like you'd go yeah. see them and like, okay, cool, yeah. I mean, they're action movies. Then over Christmas, is like, no, this is pr- quite possibly one of the greatest uh, cinematic yeah. uh, things yeah. in all of history. I think doing like a series like that, like Wandavision or Falcon and the Winter Soldier, is great. Like a ten episode series, yeah. you can explain so much more mm-hmm. than like a two three hour movie. You know, you can get like a crazy amount of backstory and like, because when these people guessing, because they're uh, they're like 30 minutes each, 30, 40 minutes. Yeah. I think Falcon Winter Soldier first one was like 50. Yeah. So it's it's basically a movie across five weeks. Now, will you miss, because One Division's on my list to watch. I haven't watched it. Now, the next movie you see in, in whatever series, whether it's, you know, the Marvel Universe or whatnot, will you feel like you're missing out if you don't watch? I the think episodic the next, stuff. I think the next Marvel movie that's going to come out is Black uh, Widow. Black Widow in yeah. like May, something like that. So mm-hmm. I don't know, but I think it's they're going to like it's like a prequel to when we saw yeah. 
Black Widow mm-hmm. like in the Marvel in the Avengers stuff. Like how she got there. Yeah. Yeah. But so, to, I don't think so. to me it's always been like if it's a good movie, I can rewatch it whenever mm-hmm. and it's good mm-hmm. and the thing about all of those movies is you could go back and rewatch them and it's still just as good. And you'll catch stuff that you didn't necessarily yeah. catch the first time. Like it's good entertainment yeah. in that sense. Yeah. I watched the, uh, the new, the justice league, the Zack Snyder. Yeah. Kind of release his cut. It's four hours long. Yeah. It's what? very, very long. Um, to do you, it in one sitting. No, I had to break it up. Okay. Like I got two hours. I'm like, oh, I'm sleepy. And I went to bed. Take and I, a nap. I, I w- watched the rest of it the next day, but um, so the original Justice League when it came out, I don't know, two three years ago, it, people shit on it because yeah. mm-hmm. it wasn't very good, like mm-hmm. it was bad. And then Zack Snyder's been working on it for a couple years now, and it was like crazy good. I thought they did a good yeah. job of like telling more about each character because in the original one they was like, oh yeah, here's Cyborg, oh yeah, here's Aquaman, and like here you go, like we have no idea about these people, but yeah. they did a good job at adding some more characters in it. Like Dark Side was in it. Martian Manhunter was in it at the mm. end. Uh, sorry, spoiler warning, but you should see it by now. But uh, I thought they did a good job. So it actually got me excited again for like the DC universe, which was good. Which that was like growing up, DC was, those were my comics. Cooler. Like that was. Like, I don't think Marvel really got cool until a lot of the movies came out. They, they, they had a run with X-Men in the 80s and early 90s. Eh. Like with the cartoon X-Men. The cartoon X-Men yeah. was good. Like, But like. Batman, those movies started yeah. so much earlier. Batman, Superman, um, Spider Man was really your only standout, I think, for Marvel before in, yeah, the, in the movie era. You had that original Hulk movie that was pretty bad. Yeah, with oh, Eric Bana. That was terrible. Yeah, that sucked. But then the one with uh, uh, Edward Norton was really good. Oh, I forgot like, was he was. But the first Hulk movie an iteration was like, of oh, it. that was bad. Which have you seen like the fan theories that like when he when. Because, you know, they switch from Edward Norton to um, Mark Ruffalo. And there's actually something that when he turned into the Hulk and then became Ruffalo, like, there's a thing about there's that. There's a theory, yeah. That, that, that was actually scripted, but not really scripted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, huh. There's fan theories there. Yeah. yeah. I'll be interested Again, to see. I went down a rabbit hole. Yeah. It's, it's always it's, weird when they switch the actor that plays. Unless they're yeah. aging. Like, have you probably haven't watched The Crown. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, well, maybe mm-hmm. you haven't. Mm-hmm. I should have guessed Chuck. You're a history buff, yeah. but that using different actors and actresses for the different eras aging that makes sense. But sometimes when they just like f- switch a character, especially during episodic television, mm-hmm. it's like a different actress or actor that plays something. Like one fresh, season, Fresh Prince. Yeah, that's. I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, or like, well, no, they didn't. Or like, it was when uh, Two and a Half Men. Well, yeah. He didn't play the same person, yeah. but when they kicked Charlie Sheen off, yeah, like, you're like, oh, what, that's his brother? Yeah. <laughs> It has to cut your cable. <laughs> okay. But there's one that I'm watching. It's called Midsummer Murders. It's a BBC thing. It's Midsummer Murders. There was a book about that. It, I, I have mean, the book. Yeah, they're, they're books. <laughs> I haven't they, read it yet. They were. Uh, they turned them into like made-for-TV movies in okay. England, and like they started in '97 and made them up into the 2000s. Okay. But at one point, <laughs> it's like the guy's cousin became the new detective. So it was still like. The detective's last name, and I'm drawing a blank on it right now, but it's like, yeah. oh, no, but it's his cousin. Oh. Mm. Huh. And then his cousin's wife, and, like, it's this whole thing. It's like, okay, that's yeah. kind of, like, we're just making that. Yeah. Uh, that's not going to work. Speaking of, like, English, British TV show, I got it. People tell me I got to get into, like, Peaky Blinders. You ever seen Peaky Blinders? Oh, I, I, I watched awesome. half of the first episode, like, in the middle of COVID. Well, I sh- we're still in COVID, so the middle of last year. <laughs> and... I got distracted and started a different show. I need to go back because I really like yeah. Anya. What's her? The same girl that's in Queen's Gambit's in it. Anya. Taylor Olson. Taylor. Ta- uh, Anya, Taylor Joy. T- yes. Yeah. That's got Olson. Like Taylor, yeah. yeah. Anna, Anna Taylor or Taylor, Joy. Anya, Anya, Taylor Joy. What? Yeah. Is there some combination of those? Yeah. I like her. Yeah. She yeah. has big eyes. Yeah. She was She's very the, unique uh, looking, uh, like in a good way. Uh, like Glass movie. And uh, oh. the one where the guy has split personality. One yeah. Glass, there's the... One before glass. What is the M. Night Shyamalan? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With he, uh, he a personality disorder or something. It's, uh, it's the guy from there. He played... Uh, Samuel L. Jackson and... Uh, why can't... Dr. Xavier. The, the guy from Dr. Atonement, Xavier. though. The uh, guy from Atonement. James McAvoy. There James you go. McAvoy. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I like that that's <laughs> the reference you use for him and I use Atonement. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which, Atonement is a good movie. Yeah, yeah. But um, it's definitely... A, it's got a great Dunkirk scene. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. And uh, Kieran Knightley's super hot in it. Uh, that Hardy guy's in it. 
uh, what Tom Hardy. Tom, he's in yeah. Peaky Blinders, and he's awesome. Yeah. He's badass. So. <laughs> what, is, what is his name? It's not Saul, but uh, I like his character in there. I, I've made it up Solomon. to... Something yeah, Solomon. Solomon, Solomon. Yeah. yeah. It, well, the whole thing about Peaky Blinders, like when I was watching it, I just, it makes me want to do that sort of, uh, oi, with a Peaky Blinders. Oh, like the real yeah. gritty, gristly yeah. accent? We, we almost made it. I've got to mark that, that one cool. out. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, but that show, like, I want to wear a tweed suit, yeah. <laughs> wear the hat, yeah. and I still have, like, a couple episodes left. I started watching the last season and then just got distracted yeah. by something. Yeah, that's so, what keeps happening yeah. to me. I did get on it. I heard it's great. It is. But. It's good. You'll want to talk with an English accent. Right. And drink, like, brown liquor. Right. Yeah. Because mm. right. it's in, like, prohibition times, yeah. right? There. And I think, you know, we need to bring back those suits. Like just tweed suits. Yeah. Just midsummer days. We've gotten too casual as a society. Yeah. I mean I'm wearing a soccer jersey right now. Tiny I'm changes. wearing a jumpsuit. Yes. It's uh it's Frightened Rabbit. It's their uh their the guy the guy that he, the lead singer killed himself a couple years ago. Wait, and, what? Uh, the, the shirt. Frightened Rabbit the band. And the shirt says Tiny Changes. Know that I'm, uh, I'm familiar with Tiny Changes, I think. Yeah. It's their like no. organization. Because he killed anti himself. Suicide yeah, anti-suicide prevention. Or suicide, suicide prevention. prevention thing. Hmm. Yeah. Make tiny changes to earth. Yes. Okay. I, the, I thought it was like a soccer team. Yeah. Well, it, they called, wore it in a game. Like, changes. there was, I, for, I think it was Heart FC, maybe, okay. in Scotland, wore this jersey on game day, like, the, f- to celebrate okay. his life. Huh. So. Cool. Well, yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Token it's a little, right there. It's a little snug. I'm working on losing the, the weight. Right. Uh, yeah. You know, it's COVID, COVID pounds. COVID yeah. push COVID pounds, is what right? I've been calling yeah. it. But uh, speaking of like, I don't know how it transitioned from, <laughs> from losing weight to yeah. this, I guess this cereal. Did you see the Cinnamon Toast Crunch thing that's going on? I did. Uh, yeah. Like the Jensen shrimp, Carp. Shrimp tails. Yeah. That found it. I f- I, it's funny though that Jensen Carp, his last name's Carp, he's married to Daniel Fischel yeah. from Boy Meets Topanga, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and they At found the same sh- time, both of us just went Yeah, you're like, Topanga. Topanga. Like, yeah. he's got life made, so yeah. he deserves a little bit of bad luck because, I mean, Topanga is Topanga. Yeah, that's a little like. But then they found what happens to that seafood person. in it. Yeah, found shrimp Carp, tails and like. Fishel seafood. Like mice turds and shit. It's apparently not the first time that somebody's found shrimp tails and cinnamon. Tails I love that the General Mills came out, though, and they were like, first they were like, oh, we're going to send it to quality control. And then they were like, Reverse, and they were like, actually, that's what happens when the uh, cinnamon and sugar crystallizes. No, you know, yeah, like, no. that's obviously for a sure, shrimp tail. Sh- for sure, shrimp tails. How do you get, I don't, that's like the furthest thing away from what I would think you'd find in Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Shrimp, shrimp tails. I yeah, mean, if, you, if you gave me multiple choice, that would be one of the last things I would yeah. choose on like su- a surprise and delight. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, like, okay, a mouse. <laughs> well, maybe not the delight part. Yeah. Maybe a mouse got in there, or, you know, some bugs or something, not shrimp tail. But how does, like, what else are they making in that factory near the Cinnamon Toast Crunch that would cause shrimp so, to I, end up in? I, I think a worker, you know, he's on I the assembly line sabotage. all day. And just, you know, peeling, eating, peeling, eating shrimp. <laughs> Which and brings just, another uh, question. He just accidentally threw it in there. <laughs> Why are you eating shrimp at work? Like, shrimp's not really a thing that, like, oh, I'm going to pack shrimp for lunch today. Yeah. I, I don't do, know. Where's the factory, though? Maybe they're a port side factory. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but peel and eat <laughs> shrimp yeah. for, like, that. Yes. Uh, th- if my dad was packing this, there wouldn't be any because he has been known to eat the tails. <laughs> I mean, uh, on accident or he likes no, them? No, uh, he's does he, he's does in the he past eating them. The shrimp or does he just eat them like? The, I don't know. The, he's the, eaten tails before though. The shrimp so. poo and and oh. all. This that was a very dangerous thing to have in cinnamon toast crunch too because a lot of people are allergic to shellfish. So if they hadn't yeah. been paying attention and eaten it and then gone, gone into anaphylactic shock and that was hmm. very shellfish of them. But um. Mm. <laughs> I thought it was funny. You yeah. never know. Those big factories. You never. Little animals getting in them. No. Although, it did make me want. I've, I've got a pound of shrimp in the fridge. I didn't know if you were going to go the cinnamon toast crunch route no. or the shrimp route. Shrimp route. Oh, I love CT crunch, man. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to stop <laughs> oh. eating it. I, mean, no, I love that, too. tell you that. But I also love shrimp. Like, I love some peel and eat shrimp. Yeah. Um, again, it's just, just not, not together. And it's not something that I would think that I would take with me on lunch. That's at dinner. No. It's a little extra protein. Yeah. That's like gas station sushi. <laughs> Ew. Never. The Aaron, my younger sister, Eats it. That's, Gas station that's, sushi. And that's she's like, not a good idea. She's done it multiple times. She's like, oh, I just I feel sick today. I'm like, why? She's like, oh, Gas station sushi. I'm like, this is like the Serves third you time right. you've done it. Yeah. Like, it's been sitting there probably for weeks. Is there something that you will eat that, like, you know, 
If I eat this, I'm not going to feel well, but I love it. Uh, QT, uh, the the roller, the heat roller things I got at the QT. Oh, like the like spicy, ro- like the taquito type things? The taquito things? stuff. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I love them, and, but they always make me feel like Oof. ass. Ice know. cream. If I eat too much, if I don't want to... I mean, if you eat too much ice cream, that's you feel like it's the milk. I know that's why yeah. you asked, and yeah. that's what that's no, what's, yeah. no, thank you. Mm. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do a bad transition just like you did. I don't know what reminded me. Another headline: Did you see where the government has announced they are releasing more UFO information June first? You know, so when they and some of those things are that. inexplicable. Like, they've said, like, there's things we can't explain. Yeah. Well, when they initially said that, like, months ago. Yeah. No one cared. Like, there wasn't an uproar about it. Well, still, you'd be like, (laughs) oh, shit. Like, it's because they've been conditioning us, man, for, like, generations to be prepared for the alien invasion. Like, everyone's, like, freaking out. And remember, they were going to storm Area 51, and then, and now, a year or two later, they're like, yeah, okay, here's all this stuff, and you don't hear about it. could it be? This is new stuff, though, apparently. But could it be? I mean, yes, it's the slow rollout. Like, you yeah. want to... Is this a slow rollout until we get invaded? And they're like, well, we tried to tell I, you, I, and you guys didn't listen. They're not going... I don't think they're going to invade. Maybe they already are. I, I, like, that thing that ended up in the, like... What was it Arizona or Colorado? The There's a name for it. It was like a metal pole. The yeah. obelisk. That yes. was fake. It was fake. I think it was fake, too, yeah, but yeah. it's still fun to uh, imagine. A friend of a friend... Of mine, I don't know if I should say this. Put it. <laughs> he stole it. What? <laughs> yeah. I, don't I don't know this person. I don't know this person at all. Yeah. A friend of a friend. Uh, Ryan is officially twice removed, so he has no. My buddy sent me something that a buddy sent him. And it's his buddy, and he, it's in his backyard. He's like, <gasps> "Yeah, I took this." <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So, to your point, though, Kim. Yes. Um, like the whole thing about like there's the grays, and then there's the. Um, Viking like uh, aliens, so like the whole Thor thing. Viking, yeah, no, oh, there's oh, a, like, a Thor. like really, yeah. like there are there is a race of aliens that are like Vikings, that sort of Nordic. That's kind God of terrifying. Thing. And then there's the Greys, and then there's like another group, and like they've been battling it out for centuries. And we're just but been, sitting here, but they've been here too. Oh, like they've been on Earth. Are we a um, like a like a what's it? Not loot. What's the word I'm thinking for? A prize. Like a war prize, but there's another word I can't think of. They w- basically one like, of the theories is, Earth, is they like, want to uh, harvest things oh, from Earth. Cool. Huh. Um, and the the Viking ones are like supposedly protecting us from another. Oh, like so there are good. groups of aliens that are good that are helping protect Earth, and we're working together with right. them to so the whole like space intergalactic thing, intergalactic kind of stuff like we're starting to work together and that's where the slow rollout is is it's not like hey yeah we've been working with these aliens for about you know 100 years now and a lot of this technology we've been getting is from the aliens so we didn't want to freak you out when we yeah. were like hey here's a yeah. alien you wonder it, if one of the alien groups they sit around like this and talk about us because technically we're aliens yeah to them if you had to be invaded if earth had to be invaded by like a movie type alien or a show type alien, but none of the nice ones. So like not ET, <sighs> not close encounters, none of the nice ones. You have to pick so like, like grays, a malicious one. Like a bad angry Thor kind of like alien. A, then like, a, like a lizard alien. Like the movie. So like the, like, like from the movie. So like Independence yeah. Day. Yeah. And Star Alien Troopers, and Star Trek Troopers. Bugs. Yeah. And War of the Worlds. A good bug is a dead bug. I you mean, had to pick one. I don't know. I would go like more like the Nordic Viking aliens, probably. Listen, I just don't. I don't. You know, we're just fragile Earthlings. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna lose any yeah. battle. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like we're not like, gonna win. You know, if movies have taught me anything, we're we're gonna lose. It's yeah. like, praise our alien overlords. Uh, please don't hurt me. Yeah. You know, like, was the those were aliens in the movie Quiet Place, right? Quiet, those were quiet place. Scary. I don't know if they were. I don't think they were. I think they were just like monsters. I don't think monsters. they were aliens. They weren't aliens. Quiet Place Two comes out soon. I don't know when. They <gasps> they keep pushing back the day, yeah. but that was such a good movie. I saw oh, it in theaters. It was so good. And it was so quiet in the theater, man. I saw oh. it with Bubba, and like it was a scene where she was in the bathtub giving yeah. birth, and we were like, Shh, quiet, don't say, like, <laughs> don't eat your popcorn, <laughs> don't do anything. It was so fun. I can't wait for the second one. That's a great movie. I haven't seen it. What? Oh Chuck? God, we Chuck. talked about it on the podcast a long time ago I and know. said how good it was. I know. And I don't like scary I movies. learned that the entire cast actually learned sign language for the movie. Like a couple mm-hmm. of the actors are actually 
um, I don't know, hearing impaired or yeah. whatever. So they learned all of the lines. Hmm. And yeah. I mean, they had to do it anyway for the movie. But I wouldn't say it's a scary movie. I'd say it's like really uh, suspenseful. It's a thriller. thriller. But yeah. There's like the <laughs> moments. Your um, task is to watch it before the second one comes out. See, the alien movies that I like are, um, what was it? Uh, the one, was it Jeremy Renner? Where they had the like the... Oh, Amy Adams, that yeah, one? Yeah, the, where it was, it was, it was like a sign circular. language thing. And every, but it was like time was a... That was the dumbest movie I've ever seen what? in my life. I so loved stupid. that. What was that movie called? Signal uh, or something. Uh, do you know what that movie was called? With an no. S? no, don't tell me. I don't know. I know it's not science because that was a uh, what's I, his face, Mel Gibson. Crazy. I watched it with a buddy, and I was like, "This is confusing. This is dumb. I hate it." It was just like remember that Annihilation movie with uh, oh, Natalie Portman. It had to do with language. What is the? I mean, like, it begins with an S. Natalie Portman is hot. Arrival. Oh, Arrival. Arrival. I was wrong about the S. No, yeah. Have you seen the photos of her from the new Thor movie? Love and Thunder? Yeah, she yeah. looks ripped. She is jacked. Yeah. She's amazing. Yeah. Like, just a Norse goddess. Yeah, Those Annihilation yeah. books were way weird too. I didn't even see the movies because yeah. the books were weird. I don't know. Arrival. I thought it was good. I th- because you know, it was, I liked the it's a thing time that, element of it. Smash, smash tomatoes the plane. on that time one. Time isn't oh real. I, got 94 time is circular. I arrived at the theater and I left the theater. It was <laughs> like Interstellar with the bookcase. Left. Done that for one movie. What movie? And I didn't agree to it. I was with a group of friends in middle school. What and movie we, is we this? Left. It was Wagons East. Mm. It was Chris Farley's. No, sorry. No, 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 no. Not Wagons East. Almost Heroes. Okay. Never seen it. It was Chris Farley's last movie. Before he died, he walked out of the theater. Oh, well, I didn't. My friends walked oh. out, and I, you know, in middle school, you got to go okay. with the crowd. But mm. it was him and Matthew Perry, and they were uh, like Eugene Levy's in it. Like it's this, sh- it's it's stupid oh. funny. Yeah, but they were like, this movie's stupid. We're Phone leaving. Call. Yeah, uh, they're listening. Um, but I have actually, so I didn't walk out of Arrival. I watched it at my house, but I wasn't paying attention. I kept like getting maybe up that's to why you didn't like it. Snacks. Well, no, I, I watched like the first hour and a half and then I was like, no, nah, okay. like, this is terrible. So, uh, Bubba walked out of, uh, uh, what's not get out the next one. Jordan oh, Peele made the, yeah. The, the us. Um, us. Bubba walked out of us and I was like, this is a good movie. I don't know why you're walking out of this movie. It was confusing, but like, it was good. I haven't seen us yet. I us, haven't either. Yeah. It was good. I like probably get out better. Yeah. Us was very like confusing and very interesting, but get out was good. I'm just I'm a fan of Jordan Peele stuff. I am I just, uh, not a he's, fan of scary he's stuff. Girl. I had Good. to build up to watch Get Out. Like I had to psych myself up to watch it because I don't yeah. like scary. That was like a little thriller, though. Yeah, but like anything that's like weird supernatural stuff that's like Mind especially bending. if I'm watching it alone at what home. What about like M Night Shyamalan stuff? Eh, I'll tell you what was a scary mother effing movie. The scariest. Scary movie I think I've seen in a while, probably of all time. Hereditary. Did you ever watch Hereditary? No, but I remember the previews and thinking I don't want to watch this because it looks so O-M-G. scary. M G Becky. I was I was scared <laughs> and I love scary movies. And I'm like, ah, you know, this is a movie. And yeah. I, I I watched it at my house alone in the yeah. dark and I was like looking Ooh. over my shoulder and I was so scared. That it is was the, wild. So do you do any like if you watch a movie and you're by yourself and then you go to bed, do you do anything to like Prep your house before you uh, go to bed. Lock all the doors. I, I lock the doors. Uh, I really don't do anything different. Like I always lock my doors. I always there's I sleep right next to a gun. Uh, but I I have to turn on like Cartoon Network. Yeah, and like watch cartoons. Okay. To, like, I get me like back in the right like mindset. I just have to be like under my covers very tight, tightly because that's really gonna help if somebody comes. <laughs> but I'll tell you this <laughs> this scene in Hereditary it freaked me out and I kept looking at this spot in my bedroom. There's one scene where it's about like possession and stuff mm-hmm. and like witches and things. And the mother gets possessed and they do a couple cool scenes of like she's hidden in like plain sight. Uh-huh. Like you'll like yeah. oh, barely no, see no, her no, for no, a second. No, 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 thank you. And she's like hanging up in the corner like Spider-Man up yeah, there. It's a hell no. no for me. And like it's like you could barely see her and it's nope. really pitch black. And I kept looking up in the dark corner in my room. <laughs> oh my God, it was so frightening. <laughs> I have woken up to shadow people and I'm not, yeah. and it's, 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 it's not really shadow people. It's like when you first wake up and you see something, your mind instantly turns it into yeah. Yeah. like a person. Cause that's what, that's the fight or flight thing. Yeah. So your brain automatically goes back to that junk. When you're in the jungle and you're afraid of predators. So the first thing you do, your body to wake you up. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, your it's a predator. adrenaline is 
pump yeah, in. So then your adrenaline goes so that way you can fight. There are energies or, though. Like when bad stuff happens, they say that they're like when, when stuff happens, there's energy. So like paranormal activity is actually like an actual thing. I don't disagree. And I'm, I've seen some things. I've seen some stuff and some things, man. <laughs> Some things, man. I wouldn't, wouldn't, re- he, wouldn't you recommend have been on, You have been on battlefields. Yeah. So. And I have yeah. slept in one of the most haunted places in, like, Bloody Lane at Sharpsburg. Oof. Like, it was stacked three high with dead bodies in 1862. Um, and, yeah, I took a nap there. Yeah. Um, but that's one of those places that people... My buddy at that same battlefield went to use the bathroom and used a porta john It was the middle of the night, and he said that he was in the porta john and a face emerged nope. in the porta john. john. Like he was sitting there taking a piss. Some guy died in the porta like, john. Like, yeah, that guy's pissed off because yeah. he's getting pissed on. Um, but it said, "Get out!" Yeah. Oh, wow. So it knew that he was in it. Like it knew that it was a porta john. Yeah. And he had to get out. So, oh, no. so no. he ran back and like just was rocking That's back and creepy. forth in front of the fire. No, thank Damn. you. Yeah. Like I watched this one movie on the plane to Phoenix. It's new. I can't remember the dang name of it hopefully fans can help me out but it's about um these people are doing like civil war reenactments mm-hmm. and they're fighting the they're they're on the confederate side on the south side and it's it kind of go jumps like back and forth so you first watch the movie and it's like oh okay it's back in this time you know they, they owned a bunch of slaves and stuff like that and they're doing terrible things to them what was that movie called oh uh, uh, is it antebellum Annabellum. Yeah, it's Janelle Monet. Yes. Yes. Oh, she yeah. is so good. Yes, she was amazing. And so it starts, you're like, okay, this they, is about they, old time, but they, they, they plucked her out of <gasps> yeah. normal life what? and they put them on this yeah. plantation. Oh, I saw the preview yeah. for that. Yeah. And like, it's because you're like, you're really kind of confused. You're like, because there's little things like that go back and forth and then it all makes sense at the end. And it okay. was wild. And, it, and they were like in the backwoods of like a yeah. normal. It's kind like of like reenactment. Was, not signs or uh, what was the movie? Uh, the, um, the village, the village yeah. with yeah. Uh, they're, they're just Ron outside Howard's of Boston. daughter, yeah. Dallas, Bryce <laughs> Bryce Howard. Dallas Howard, Bryce yeah. Dallas Howard, yeah. Dallas Bryce yeah. Howard. That was a good movie though. Yeah. Annabelle was like, oh my, that was See, wild. like scary. No, no, just like really, like my, just, like just a crazy movie. Yeah. yeah. Okay. See, I, like, I've I've been wanting to watch that, but like if I if I watch something like that at home now, yeah. since I live alone. Like, yeah, no, thanks. my door to my bedroom actually leads out to the side of the house. Mm-hmm. So if I watch something scary or listen to like a true crime podcast or something like that, mm-hmm. I will put like something in front of that door. Yeah. Like it's not going to do anything if somebody breaks in, but it'll at least make just, just a little bit of noise. Better. I have even put my bike in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> so that they trip yeah. over it. Yeah. yeah. I'd be afraid so, that somebody would steal my bike. Like you, I, you know, I might have something that can do some hurt nearby. Yeah. So I just need that little bit of time to get mm, to whatever a I need buffer. to get to. Yeah. 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 yeah, you always need to have a buffer. Yeah. Like I booby trap it. <laughs> right. I, I booby trap my house basically. Right. Yeah. yeah. Home alone. There's cans dangling from strings that'll, you yeah. know, like rattle. Legos on the floor. Yeah. 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 Just put a little iron on the handle of the door. I like so it. <laughs> called the wet bandits. I like to see that. Wet. Uh, someone was talking about like, did it, no one notice that Kevin from Home Alone, like, did anyone check on him? Is he a serial killer now? Or like, what? <laughs> like, there's no way a, a however old Nine he was, was that however, advanced yeah. that, like, Which, hurting yeah, people. Isn't there, like, something that he be, he grew up to become the guy from Saw? Yeah. Like, yeah, I saw that. Oh, yeah, yeah he like a, a jigsaw. meme. Yeah. 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 And, I mean, if you see pictures of Macaulay Culkin, like, you He know, looks like a serial killer. I thought I read somewhere where they were going to do a remake of Home Alone, and it was going to be Macaulay Culkin now, but they were going to shoot it the exact same way. <laughs> <laughs> like, how how creepy old. would it yeah. be? That would be I, but, that would be a badass movie. Yeah, it'd be hilarious. I'd love to watch it. That's it'd the be type a dark comedy for yeah. sure. Yeah. We should do it. That's but make it like rated R. Like, yeah. it's, like it's terrible. Like show what would actually happen if you dropped a paint can on somebody's head. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like show it's what like the jackass. Act- not j- jackass. They'd be saw. <laughs> <laughs> or that half the stuff he did would cause like severe. Yeah. Like bodily harm somebody did like it was probably a buzzfeed thing but it was like they would have been dead like 10 minutes into the movie like 10 minutes in mm-hmm. when they tried to break in yeah like they Whoops. wouldn't have made it all the way yeah i was, think we were out of time i was gonna say was your Get alarm it. going off uh i haven't set for i moved it i think to 12 15 she hit, she hit snooze she hit snooze <laughs> she hit i didn't snooze. hit snooze it's 12 or 2 15 okay which yeah. I can stay, but I don't have my. I would have to use your computer to interview Larson. Yeah. That's up to you. Well, you well I do have uh, a meeting at three. 
Okay. So I have to be home and in place at 245. So So. we can either continue and I can rig your computer or we can start talking about Bristol and wrap it up. Yeah. I think we should talk about Bristol because I have to uh, be a meeting in Mooresville at oh, three. Oh, Jesus. So, okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I have to <laughs> hurry, hurry. So, uh, so, we're, we're, so sorry. Fans. Sorry. We're going to blame this. You guys missed it. This is all Chuck's fault. Yeah. We Ryan and I were here on time early, actually, mm-hmm. for our one o'clock hot time. Look, we've got a lot going on this week. We do, week, we do. And I'm it's, sweating. I'm, I'm sweating. <laughs> Kim's sweating. Ryan, you, it's going to be sweating sweat. if we don't talk about Bristol soon. Not because, as much as Papa. But, yeah, uh, not yeah. as much as Daryl, but uh, I will be sweating at Bristol. Yes. Right again. On the dirt. Um, obviously, it's going to be very interesting mm-hmm. for yeah. all parties involved. Uh, fans Is Dave excited? Dave's excited to watch it. Yeah, okay. he'll, he'll be uh, I wonder what there. his thoughts were. Yeah, he's going to be in the stands, so okay. he'll be there and be able to watch. But uh, yeah, um, trucks and cup cars are racing on the dirt at Bristol, so make sure you tune in Saturday and Sunday. Yes. I think Saturday is going to be a fun day of just... Uh, Some shit well, shows. And Friday. There's practice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, Finally have practice yeah. again. So. Did you want to run a truck or no? Because a couple of cup drivers are running trucks to yeah. kind of get a feel. I never really pursued okay. running a truck. Um, if the opportunity presented itself, I might have You just weren't going to do any extra no. digging. Just, you know, you already got practice. You already yeah. got some heat races. Yeah. You know, watch the truck race. So see how it all goes. This is a random question because you're in the commercial for this season and you are the one that's hyping mm-hmm. Bristol. Where did were you just in a studio with a pile of dirt, or did you actually go to Bristol? I was at the dirt track at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Okay, I wondered. So yeah. you weren't on a beach in Vietnam? No, I was not. <laughs> uh, the, I love the, the smell of napalm in the morning. The budget was not <laughs> was not, not that. there. So, um, but no, yeah, I'm excited for Bristol this weekend. Should be good. Make sure everyone tunes in. Yeah, it'll be fun. I'm going. Yeah, I good for go. you. I'm good. kind of upset I don't get to go, but the history, I'm going to watch it. So the history of it. Is yeah. why I'm looking forward to it. Wild. Last time was 1970. Richard Petty won the last race on dirt. Yeah, we did a whole thing on stacking pennies that you haven't heard, but there. If I'm doing a plug for that on there because I put a lot of work into that show yeah. over the past couple of weeks, um, and we wrote a thing about the history of dirt and, and NASCAR's history in dirt and uh, that 1970 race at uh, Raleigh sounded pretty interesting. Raleigh. A car went into a horse barn. Oh, oh wow! Well. No horses were harmed. In yeah, the, uh, but check that that podcast out on NASCAR dot com slash podcast because you're probably listening to this in that feed. Probably. So you could also go over to NASCAR dot com, click on Stacking Pennies, give that a download, but go into iTunes, rate and review this show. Mm-hmm. Let them know how much you enjoyed hearing us again. We yeah. should say this is going to be a surprise and delight season. Yeah. Yes. So it's not going to be like every single week. It's just going to be like yeah. it's a special edition. Yeah. Uh, episodes we got episodes, coming out. Yeah. So we're not done. Nope. And no. we don't know when the next one, we can't say, ah, the next ones are going to be here, but yeah, there will be more. Have to keep your eye so out. So hopefully yeah. you just start living life yeah. on the edge of your seat. Start looking at our Twitters and reading them uh, with an inquisitive mind. <laughs> now they're going to look at it. True. They're going to we'll overanalyze them. everything. Yeah. Now it's going to be great. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm going to have fun. Not with that. that they already don't, yeah. but. Like somebody called me out for uh, not being a charlatan because I didn't like, I'd never heard of Tony's Pizza or Mama's Pizza. Oh, and I've never not, heard of it. Yeah. yeah, I've heard of Tony's Pizza. I think. Yeah, but, Mama's Pizza. Yeah, but so. but on that bombshell. Yeah. Any final thoughts? Cue the music. Uh, yeah, cue the music. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Sorry it took so long. Uh, looking forward to dropping some special episodes this year, and uh, just nice to be back in the studio and with everybody. Yeah. So the new and improved studio. Yeah, look it's at this. It's a fancy. Yeah. yeah. You have no idea. This is made out of gold. We just painted over it. <laughs> <laughs> I love gold. We just yeah. need chairs that aren't so deep. <laughs> They're good for y'all. Yeah, they, I mean, you got long legs. Get leg extensions, Kim. Perfect. Or just get really big heels. Yeah, so there you go. Can, like, Kim's gonna come. I was gonna wear like boots. I know we're we're wrapping up, but did you see the the photo of the baseball guy? It was the um, Savannah Bananas? And the Savannah guy on, Bananas. The Savannah Bananas <laughs> baseball team, and there was a guy on stilts, so he was like the tallest. Oh, and he was batting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So you no. can get the stilts okay. and uh, be that. And be a Savannah Banana. Yeah, that'd be good. Like, review, uh, do that deal. And we'll see you next time. We love you, fans. (laughs) (laughs) And we see the tweets. We just don't respond. Yeah. That's right. (laughs) Okay. Bubba said we'll see you next week.